Okay, this is Kayla Desal with Knives and Guitars Private Chefs. And for this next portion, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting together our salad, right? So these are some of the items that's going to be in two different um, dishes. We have some of the portions for our salad, and we have some of the portions for our other dish that's going to be made up with our golden shard um, that we're going to be um, doing a, doing cutting up a little bit later on. So for this particular thing here, um, we're, we're going to use we're going to use our, our paring knife that we were talking about earlier. We're going to use the paring knife for our apples. We're also going to use the paring knife just to um, open the skin on the avocado. And we're going to be using our paring knife just to do a trim on this uh, cucumber. Okay, so we're going to be in another knife we're going to be using for our tomato is going to be our um, santoku. So let's start with the santoku. Um, I mean, excuse me, let's start with the tomato and um, we'll um, um, get that cut away and then we'll set aside all of the items that we need for putting together our dish. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is properly holding the um, knives. So I'm going for that. I'm going to use um, the um, chef knife here. The reason why I'm going to use the chef knife is because it's the most common knife that's used in the home or even in the restaurants. So we're going to start with the chef knife and the style that I use, and that is um, probably the the most popular. It's called the pinch method. And what you do is you take your forefinger and your thumb, whichever hand that you most, um, are you're most adapted with and for, for using this, and you're just gonna put it right at the bottom of um, the blade itself, okay? Right here at the bottom of the blade, you're gonna just sit it right here, okay? In my knife description video, um, I'll be going over the different areas, the spines, the heels, um, the different areas of the knife itself. But for this, we're just going to pinch it here, and we're just going to put our uh, middle finger underneath on the on the sheet. Excuse me, on the handle itself. I'm bringing our pinky all the way. Now we have full control of the blade. You see uh, people doing this right here. I don't consider it safe, and a lot of us chefs don't consider it safe. You really don't have much. You do, you don't have control really over the blade. The blade is really doing whatever it wants to do. But with you holding the blade itself in your hand, pinching between your um, between pinching between the blade, you actually get more control over it. So, in cutting our um, tomato, we're just going to get rid of the um, top part of the to the tomato, and um, we're just going to cut really effort effortlessly <laughs> through it. Sharp knife goes a long way. We'll be talking about sharpening knives later on. Okay. So um, that's just um, our primary cut. I just wanted to show you and cut with that just because I wanted to show you how to properly hold the um, knife itself. Just had to grab my, um, my chef towel to wipe off my knife. So since we're going to be using the um, the Santoku, then um, which is this one here, this is the Santoku, and as I said, the Santoku uh, means um, three virtues. Um, they also have what's called garnets, and these garnets here that are in the knife itself are designed so when you um, when you are using it uh, for chopping that the um, fruit won't stay on it. Fun fact, tomato is a fruit, okay? Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is actually holding the tomato. So we have the tomato here and uh, we've already cut off the top of it. We really want to um, have some nice long um, circles for our um, uh, presentation for our tomato, but we want them really thin. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a technique called the claw, and we're going to just 
claw the top of it, not tightly, but just holding it in place with our thumb behind the tomato. We do not need our thumb here. We do not need our thumb anywhere in this area. Anywhere in the knife area is no. You want that thumb tucked in the back. You're going to be holding it with these three, these four fingers, okay? You're kind of holding it right in between here, between your fingers, okay? That way, when you're cutting and you need that extra, that extra thin slice, you can get in there and really slice it really, really thin, okay? All right? And you, you don't have to worry about cutting off your thumb. All right? Okay. We just need a couple for our dish. All right, I'm gonna sit that right there. We'll cut the rest of that up later on. All right, that's our knife off. You don't want to leave liquids and juices on your knives. They begin to mess with your steel and mess with um, uh, um, dull your knife as well, dull your blade. So when you're done with it and you don't need it, wipe it off, set it aside in a nice, comfortable. Um, uh, space where it's not going to get um, tossed around okay all right so for that we can just actually sit these um, off to the side because we're going to use these um, for a later dish okay excellent now we don't need the rest of that tomato either now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this cucumber now for the cucumber I actually want to use this paring knife and um, what I want to do with the paring knife is I want to just make it so where the, where the cucumber can, can sit flat, okay? Because what, the, what I'm going to do for this next um, set of cuttings is I want, um, I want this next cut, I want them to be all the way sheared down right so i want to have as much flat space on the bottom as i can because i want these to be super duper thin okay Yeah. See? Make these here. Okay. These are going to be beautiful. All right? These ones that I don't need, we'll just toss them aside. Okay? Just like that. Okay? I think we're going to use this. All right. So now I also want to use this um, for trimming. So this top part here that is that's left on to um, to the cabbage. I don't need. I actually want to create just a small little diamond, little diamond top de de design. So I'm just gonna set that just like that and just like that. So I just want to have that. That's what I want. I want that little tip. See there? Let's see if I can get in a dark spot. I just want that tip. See? Like that. That's what I want for my presentation. And I want that on both sides. And we only need those two. Okay? We're not looking for perfection. We're just looking for what we want. All right? We're just looking for what we want. And we're going to use those, and we're going to use that. All right, so this next one uh, that is going to be used for this one is also going to be used for the avocado. So for this one, I'm going to set this paring knife here, and I'm going to grab this small um, santoku. Now, if you look at um, my regular santoku compared to this, it's much, much bigger, <laughs> right? Now, this one I got at the market. And this one was gifted with my set. Uh, but this one was from the market. So we're going to use this one now. Set that one inside. Okay? So 
avocado, everyone knows how to do it. So I'm not going to go through this big old long thing about an avocado. You just cut it at the top, you use your knife, and you run it all the way around the seed. Okay? Give it a little twist, and there you are. Nice avocado inside. We're just going to set that there like that. Now, I know a lot of people are tempted to do this. Do not do this. Don't do this. All right? You don't want to mess up. You don't want to. You don't want to start making this part of your blade duller. Okay? That's not what you want to do. What you want to do is you want to use this heel portion. You want to use this back portion here, and you give that a little. There you go. A little turn, and there you go. This way, you're not messing up the sharpening side and blade. Just use this little back heel right there. The other thing is too is when you want to take it off, you can just use your fingers and just push it off like that. That's another good thing about it is that you're not going like this. You know, you're not, and then you miss and you hit your hand. No, you do not want that. So it's best to just put it there, and you're hitting, you're hitting your elbow, you're hitting your hands together, and at the same time to the um, seed itself. So it's more of this motion instead of this motion or this hacking motion, okay? Here, with the bottom of your, of your blade, okay? And it comes right, give it a little twist, comes right out. All right, so we're gonna set that aside as well too. Now, for this, you have a lot of options. You can, you can dump it out, spoon it out, blah, blah, blah. You can do a whole bunch of things. But what we want, I'm just going to sit it down here like this. I'm going to actually grab my um, other Santoku and, and because I want a larger slice, okay? Because I want that. And we're just going to set these aside. We don't need that right now. Now, I'm even going to leave the skin on it because I don't want to peel it yet. And then I'm not able, and then my uh, flesh is all, all yucky. And because I want just small thin slices, I'm going to leave it on. And I'm just going to do it like this. So then that way when I need it, I can just peel the top of it right off. I don't need to have the burden of having it sitting there and not be able to um, use it. And we're going to cut three for this one. Okay. Now, all right, I'm going to set those aside. All right, wipe off my blade because I got avocado all over it. So you definitely want to wipe off food um, as fast as you can between um, slices or uses, okay? Between slices or uses. All right, we're almost set to um, start plating this up as well too. So when we get time, when we're getting ready to start plating this up, then um, we'll go. To, we'll show you the next steps. So let's just take this out of the way. Write this one down as well too. Okay. No matter how inexpensive you take care of the knife, and it will take care of you. Okay. Okay. All right. So now. We're going to um, set this avocado aside and we're going to start getting this one ready um, to plate up for our uh, caprese. Okay, now the only portion that I'm not going to be presenting is our toasted. Um, I'm going to just be placing this salad um, because this is a, um, just a, an appetizer, uh, a starter um, with our portions and with this comes the green apple. So we're going to use our paring knife and we're just going to start right at the top and you're going to hold your paring knife just as it is like this and then pull your thumb out. So it's here, pull your thumb out because that's how you use the paring knife. The paring knife is one of the only knives that is kind of coming towards you. So you want to make sure that the paring knife is about the same size as the item that you're using it on. This would, this, I can use this, I can use this. If I want to peel it, if I'm doing like a full peel all the way around and I want a large portion, that's one thing. But if I'm just peeling and I want just this top portion here, then this gives me a lot more control 
to be able to go all the way around. Okay. I don't need any of this peel. So I'm not trying to keep the peel. I'm not trying to do one fancy peel and, and show you how awesome I am. That is not what I'm trying to do at all. We don't need any of it. I'm actually just trying to get a good, I'm trying to just get a good clear space because what I want is just a chunk. I just want a chunk out of there. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. I want that. <laughs> All right. Now, oh, I do want the pairing again, too, because for, for what I'm going to do with these, we're getting ready to plate this all up, okay? So let me set this here. Let's move these things out of the way. Let's get this here, our items. Okay. Now, now, let's just trim these up, get all this off of here that we don't need. So this is really nice for trimming, okay? Getting in there and really getting the portions that you want um, for, for your presentation and how you're going to be presenting it, okay? So I just want to get rid of all these. I don't need these, okay? Now, I'm just going to set this aside right real quick just so I can wipe off my board. We're going to thin these in just small slices. I want small uniform slices. Okay. I don't want that. But I want these. See? You see that like that? It almost looks like jicama. I mean, you know, it doesn't even look like apple anymore. It looks like jicama. It doesn't even look like apple. And this is what you want to present to your guests. You know, you want them to be like, what is that? I know I've seen that somewhere before. See, okay, so that one's going to be a little too small. So we're not going to use that one. This one is going to be better. So we'll use this. Get that out of the way. And just get some really thin slices in here. Really thin. Okay, and this might just be enough here. Yeah. That would be fine. I'll take that off as well. Okay, so that's all we needed for our green apple. All right. All right, so let's get to the plating portion. <laughs> 